Today we received the motherboard of an iPhone 11 Pro Max, which had water damage. According to the technician who sent it, the phone doesn't turn on. He says he has already cleaned all the components and replaced new parts, but it still doesn't turn on. When we check the phone's housing, we realize it has indeed been in contact with water. The indicator should be white, but it has turned red upon contact with water. Upon examining the screen, we also notice that the indicator is red. The first thing I'm going to do is use the housing from another phone in good condition to verify if the phone is powering on. We connect the charging port, power supply, screen, and finally the charger to try to power on the motherboard. When checking the power supply, we notice that the consumption is normal, indicating that the board is powering on, but not displaying an image. I checked the vibration button and the phone vibrated. This confirms that the problem lies within the image circuitry. We're going to remove the motherboard and check the display connector. We set our multimeter to diode mode and begin measuring all the voltage drops. After measuring all the voltages, we realize that pin number 16 is giving an OL reading, indicating an open line. This means it's not active. According to the diagram, it should be active and give us a voltage drop of 0.614 in diode mode. This line is responsible for supplying 3 volts to the screen, so the lack of image is due to this. The line is created by the power management IC, which sends 3 volts through a filter and then delivers the 3 volts to the screen connector. Since the multimeter shows OL, it means there's no connection. In this case, the connector, filter, power management IC, or the line could be causing the issue. First, we remove the epoxy covering the circuits next to the connector. Then we check if the FL8083 filter has continuity from side to side, which it doesn't. This indicates that the filter is faulty. We replace it with a new filter and check if it now shows a reading in diode mode. As you can see, the line is active again. We connect the charging port, power supply, screen, and charger. And as a result, it now displays an image. This repair has been a success. For those interested in learning more about cell phone repair techniques and training, I recommend visiting cellphonerepairacademy.com for comprehensive training courses and resources.